Holy sh! Venom's not here today, man. Welcome, boils and ghouls, to the Carnage Flood. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Summer of Carnage right here on the Venom Vlog. And holy cow, man. All right, I, obviously none of us were expecting this today. It's so funny because a lot of other news came out, like the title of the next James Bond movie, um, and then like The Matrix is getting like a fourth movie, and all of that is just no background noise now because everybody's attention is on this right here. A uh, report from Deadline, Disney-Sony standoff ends Marvel Studios and Kevin Feige's involvement in Spider-Man. Holy crap. Now, I knew they were going to be going back to the table and, like, kind of negotiating stuff. And I thought, you know what? Maybe this was beneficial to both sides um, in the last deal that they made. So it makes sense that they're probably going to continue it. Looks like Disney tried to get more out of it to make it, like, more beneficial for them. I know some people are going to go, yeah, but it's they just wanted 50-50 because that's you could read the details in this article of what they were able to get. Obviously, all the details and all the intricate parts of this deal, we you know, we're probably never going to know uh, unless there's, like, another Sony leak at some point down the road. Uh, but, uh, you know, for this, at least, it's like, um, it looks like, you know, Marvel or Disney wanted a 50-50 split on the film and you know as far as creativity goes and that's the thing is like people were saying well those are mcu movies it's like well they're set in the mcu uh, mcu universe but uh they are made by primarily by sony people sony staff sony writers um you know it's just like kevin feige and those guys had a say in who got cast as spider-man they were able to help pick tom holland who was a great pick they're obviously very good at casting their movies um and uh and so a lot of people were like you know they're they're hating on Sony right now, but if you you gotta look at it from a business standpoint. And again, we don't know all the details, so it's kind of hard to do that. But from what I understood, uh, Sony doesn't have didn't have a great deal. La you know, in the last part of this, um, they were just like, hey, look, we're in a bind. You know, we you know our last two Spider Mans weren't aren't very loved by a lot of people. I know there are fans out there, but not widely loved by a lot of people. And so they're like, let's uh, let's try to re you know restructure this let's put spider-man in the mcu and let's see what kind of deal they offer they offered a deal where you know sony felt okay with it um they had a little bit more control in casting and, and writing and all that stuff um but it looks like you know marvel wanted they wanted that yard stick to go back another yard they were like i don't know what the full deal was but it sounded like sony had a majority over 50 percent of you know control and stuff on these movies and disney was like now let's make it 50 50 but you got to look at it outside of that too you got to look at merchandising and i think there's some weird merchandising um on some level where I think like, you know, maybe it was beneficial to Sony before uh, on the merchandising where they're like, oh, we got m most merchandising or any merchandise that comes out, you know, we get, uh, you know, a good chunk of, I think it's something like that. Um, and again, I don't even know for sure. I'm just talking of what I've heard. So don't use me as like, you know, I'm not like a major source on this or Mr. Know-it-all on this. I have no idea. I'm just kind of just like anybody else taking a, a guess and then regurgitating what I've heard. Uh, but from what I understand, like the deal made it good for them on a on a you know on merchandising level but now i mean who knows they could have disney could have wanted more merchandising stuff so a lot of people may be sitting there going like sony you screw this up you screwed this up and it's like hey you know from it could have been just disney wanting more you know like they were just like hey this isn't enough for us we want more control we want more merchandising we want more this more that um it could have been on that level and maybe sony's just like you know, to protect themselves and to protect their, you know, the, 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 you know, IP that they own in Spider-Man and stuff, they're probably like, you know what, if we give in too much, they're just going to take this guy away from us. And he is a, a potential billion dollar franchise, right? I mean, he just made a billion dollars, you know, luckily with Marvel's help, obviously, and Disney's help. But uh, they think out of it now, like, hey, the, the groundwork's been laid. Everybody loves Tom Holland. You know, everybody's on board with these movies. Um, no, not everybody, but, you know, m majority of people. Um, so they probably think Sony's like, you know what? They didn't offer us a good deal. And uh, we still have the character. We can still continue the story. As far as I know, uh, John Watts, the director, and Tom Holland are still signed on to do two more movies. Again, since Sony was primarily in charge of these, they can still move forward with movies. They just won't be set in the MCU anymore. Uh, so I know it's going to be confusing for people. They're going to be like, wait, well, when Peter Parker's identity gets outed, we were hoping he would go talk to, you know, um, you know, one of the other Avengers or he would go do this or, you know, ask Happy for help or something. But it looks like it's not going to do that anymore. He's going to be literally his own man again um, and step out of the shadow of these other characters that he was like, you know, surrounded by and I guess become his own hero, assuming they still go forward with all that. But I think they are. I think they are like, hey, look, we got a billion dollar Spider-Man here. Um, most people aren't going to care about this deal if we just make another movie and it looks good. Uh, and if we bring in the Sinister Six and if we continue the story of Peter Parker's identity being ousted or whatever, like 
I see them still moving forward. And they can because really all Marvel did to their movies was add characters like Happy Hogan and Iron Man. I mean, that's really all that they did for the Spider-Man movies for the most part. I mean, like probably little things and little creative decisions. But for the most part, that's all that really Sony got out of it was just being able to use Marvel characters. Now they're just going to move forward without Marvel characters. And it kind of works out for them because now they have another universe they can borrow characters from. They have the Spider-Verse uh, that they can bring in a Miles. They can bring in alternate dimensions. Um, or they can bring in Venom or Morbius now. Now. and these are characters that are already tied to spider-man anyway so uh this i see is a smart move by sony if they feel the deal was bad and it sounds like they did so you can read the article i'll put a link down below but this is breaking news i mean this just happened like not even an hour ago and i just got home from from my meeting so i was like i saw this and i was like no way is this true and then i saw the link and i was like oh my god it's it is and I know a lot of people are going to freak out. A lot of people are going to be very passionate about their opinions. So please let me know down below, like, what side of the fence are you on? Are you hating Sony right now? Are you mad at Marvel? Do you not care? Um, do you just, as long as you get more Spider-Man stuff, is that all you care about? That's kind of how I am. I mean, I wasn't a big fan of Homecoming, to be honest with you. Um, and there were parts of uh, Far From Home I didn't like. But overall, I liked that much better than Homecoming. And I liked the possibility of a Spider-Man movie where his identity is outed. Um, I think that's cool. Like, it's a new story we haven't gotten in the movies before, and it's a good setup for the Sinister Six, because now you can have Scorpion see on the news who Spider-Man is and go, hey, Vulture, remember that kid, you know, that beat you up and beat me up? His name's Peter Parker, and he's like, uh, let's let's go get, a you know, the, the band together, the Sinister Six together, and go hunt him down. And then you could have, you know, Vulture be like the, you know, the the kind of the good guy, like, or the, the, the wild card on the team where he's like, uh, you know, I, I don't know, this kid did save my life, even though he didn't have to. And maybe Vulture will turn good at the end and help Peter Parker beat the Sinister Six or something. Um, that could work. I mean, I don't know. These stories can work. You don't really need the MCU to tell Spider-Man stories moving forward. It would have been nice, you know, to see Peter Parker interact and go to other people for help and stuff. But now he doesn't have that safety net. Now, if they move forward in, as just a Sony movie, he can't go look for the Avengers and ask for help. He has to talk to Aunt May. He has to talk to Mary Jane. Like, he, he has to he, maybe go talk to Eddie. Brock or something like he has to find a different group of people to um, to interact with and that could be good and it could fall on its face we'll never know until we see trailers until they announce something official or anything like that so I don't know this deal though is uh, this was amazing news like in in the sense that like it's everyone's gonna have a reaction to it uh, and so since this is so big I'm bumping this up a couple episodes and putting this out as soon as I can. Uh, and all the other stuff I'll get pushed back probably till tomorrow. So, um, so yeah, I think the, the last video that I'm uploading uh, soon is going to be uh, the Robert Richardson one, the cinematographer episode. And then I'll put this right after it. And then you'll see like the toy reviews and uh, statue reviews and everything I had lined up. You'll see those tomorrow probably. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think of this. I mean, this is just crazy and there's a lot of details in here that i didn't want to go over too much because um obviously i want you guys to go read this article and see it you know don't get my paraphrasing of anything don't get me screwing anything up because i'm i'm so amped right now reading it and i'm just like i don't want to screw any of this up i just i want to give my thoughts and just basic stuff i've heard even though i don't think it some of it might be true of what i heard so i just want to put it out there to get your opinion on it and uh, to kind of frame you know my point of view and why i, I kind of see this this way um i see this as a potential good thing for sony um but yeah i mean i also on some level i put this on twitter i you know it's it's nice that disney doesn't own everything and that they don't always get what they want i mean there's a there is a feeling like that that i'm like i'm, I'm glad they don't always get what they want it's a bummer too because i know kevin feige like he worked on the original spider-man movies when he was like with sony and stuff and uh he's a big spider-man fan i know this for a fact that he's a big spider-man fan i even got to meet him and talk to him a few times um at lego and uh, I know he's a big fan of of, uh, of Spider-Man and his kids are big fans of Spider-Man. So I'm bummed on that level because I, I thought it was in the hands of somebody who really did love the character where I feel like Sony is like, they're like, well, they love that he's potential for money, but I don't think anyone over at Sony re like really loves Spider-Man as a character. Uh, but uh, that's just my opinion on that. Uh, I think everyone just sees him as like a, you know, a, a opportunity to make money, which is fine. I mean, they're in that business, so they kind of have to look at him that way. But I felt like Kevin really did like Spider-Man. And so it's a bummer that it leaves his hands because you at least want someone like that on the film in some way you know i mean i'm sure john watts at this point the director is you know grown very fond of spider-man and tom holland as spider-man so maybe the two of them are enough to move forward but we'll see man we'll see I, i'm i'm interested but i want to hear your thoughts let me know down below are you outraged are you are you excited whatever it is let me know down below and as always we'll continue our conversation down there and please go read this article i'll put a link to it down below as well uh, in the description box thanks so much for watching the show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you in the future peace